chapter 10, verse 10. The Bible says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they may have life, that they may have it more abundantly. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point with understanding. Say, I command any demonic dreams assigned to destroy my life to be aborted by fire in the name of Jesus. I command any demonic dreams assigned to destroy my life to be aborted by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. A team is dedicated for dreams, interpretation, and warfare prayers. I am Evangelist Joshua Oreke, broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification button. Today's topic is 20 distorted dreams you should not ignore. 20 distorted dreams you should not ignore. Brethren across the world, there are dreams and there are dreams. There are dreams that destroy a man. There are dreams that frustrate a man. There are dreams that disappoint a man. There are dreams that kill a man. There are dreams that put a man to shame. By the grace of God, we are going to look at the 20 destructive dreams you should not ignore. Perhaps you may have been coming across this dream, but you are paying less attention to them. Brethren across the world, if there's anything we should not joke with, it is our dream state. Dream is the window of the world. And if you if you have been having these kind of dreams, this kind of distorted dream dreams, and you failed not to pray against it, brethren, the repercussion, the consequences are much. I pray any distorted dreams are sent against you shall not swallow your destiny in Jesus' name. By the grace of God, we are going to look at the 20 disrupted dreams. 20 disrupted dreams you should not ignore as a child of God. I pray the Lord Almighty will help us in Jesus' name. Number one dream is being murdered. Being murdered in the dream. Being murdered in the dream. If you are being murdered in the dream, it's a destructive dream. Someone came to your dream and slaughtered you, destroyed you. That is a destructive dream. Perhaps the enemy wants to destroy your life. Perhaps the enemy does not want you to live again. Perhaps the enemy wants to frustrate your destiny. So if you are being murdered in the dream, know that the enemy is trying, is planning evil against you. So you need to stand upon the word of God in the book of Psalm 118 verse 17. Number two distorted dreams is seeing yourself being pressed down in the dream. Seeing yourself being pressed down in the dream. If you are being pressed down, on the bed, you are pressed down, you are being oppressed, you are pressed down anywhere you go, know that the enemy is trying to suffocate your destiny, trying to destroy you, to terminate your glory, your star, your, your destiny. So if you are being pressed in the dream, mean that the enemy want to take away something from your life. They want to make sure that you did not rise up and fulfill that destiny. Because they know that you have a plan, you have a goal, you have a dream. But once you are being pressed down, they don't want you to fulfill that destiny. I pray for you today. Every spirit of death assigned to kill you, I command them to die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number three distorted dream is if you dream of falling down from a tree, you are climbing a tree. You are climbing a tree, maybe to pluck mango or to pluck anything, and you are falling down from the from the tree. That is a big setback. That is a big setback. Reproach, shame. The enemy wants to destroy your life. You are climbing the tree and you fell down from that tree. That is the arrow of death that has been fired against you. So you don't have to joke with that dream. You don't have to ignore that dream. Go on your knee and pray that God whoever that wants me to fall, whoever that is planning evil against me, Father, evil shall be their portion in Jesus' name. So, if you are coming across this dream, falling down from a tree, know that somebody is planning evil against you. 
stand against it and destroy their plans in Jesus' name. Number four, distorted dreams. Eating food with dead relatives in the dream. If you are eating food with dead relatives in the dream, that is another form of distorted dreams. So if you are eating food with dead relatives, know that the enemy want to kill you. Number five, distorted dream is if you see someone spit on you in the dream, someone want to tarnish your image, someone want to destroy your destiny, someone is spitting on you in the dream, someone is trying to pass across an arrow of hatred and rejection upon you, send that arrow back to sender in Jesus' name. Number six dream is if you have been shot in the dream, if you have been shot in the dream, know that the enemy is planning your downfall. The enemy is planning evil against you. So if you have been shot in the dream, what has again? That is spiritual weakness. You have to pray, God, empower me again. Empower me again. Empower me again. So that I can able to fight against those fighting against me. Praise the name of Jesus. If you have been shot in the dream, you need to pray very well. Pray against the spirit of death. Pray against the spirit of loss. Pray against the spirit of failure in Jesus' name. Number seven distorted dreams is seeing an evil spirit entering your body. In the dream, if you, are, if you see an evil spirit entering your body, that is a witchcraft possession, initiation. It means that you are being controlled, you are being manipulated by evil spirit. So there is a time for you to go for deliverance and let that pastor bind and cast out that evil spirit that is tormenting your life and your destiny because they are tormenting your life. If you are seeing a strange spirit or a shadow entering your body in the dream, know that the enemy wants to kill you. It can be a shadow of death. It can be a shadow of sickness, it can be a shadow of problem, it can be a shadow of ups and downs. So you need to go for deliverance and let them cast out that demons that has been making things difficult for you in Jesus' name. Number eight, destructive dream is if you fell into a pit or hole in the dream, know that the enemy has set a trap for you. You want to fall into that hole, meaning that everything about your life has been destroyed. I pray may your life never be destroyed in Jesus' name. The trap which the enemy has set for you, I pray, it will not catch you. It will catch those that set that trap in the name of Jesus. So, if you are seeing yourself falling into a pit or falling into a hole in a dream, know that the enemy wants to terminate your existence. All your, 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 your power, your weight and everything, they want to make sure that they take away everything and delete you. When you see somebody in the pit in a dream, that is the spirit of delay, that is the spirit of stagnation. That the spirit of difficulties and impossibility. The person will just be in the hole, but the person cannot be able to, you know, able to carry out his plan successfully as a result of being confined in a satanic custody. You have to pray, God, any place the enemy have healed me, have caged me, Father, release me. Release me from that evil cage. Release me from that evil location, from that unknown location. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number nine, if you miss the way in the dream, you are actually going, you are trying, actually going somewhere, but you miss the way. The enemy wants to destroy your life. You miss the way, you miss the road. You are actually going somewhere, but along the line, you, you, you can't just you can't just detect the, the particular road you are going. Know that the enemy wants to destroy your life. It's a signal that there's an evil, there's a danger ahead. You need to turn back and pray, God, show me the way. Show me the way. Come back. Wait. When you discover that you have missed the road, come back and cry to God. God, show me the way. Show me the way. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord will show you the way. Amen. Number 10. If you are seeing yourself turning to an animal in a dream, if you are seeing yourself turning to an animal in a dream, know that the enemy wants to destroy your life. The enemy wants to pollute you. The enemy wants to molest you. The enemy wants to frustrate your destiny. The enemy wants to make sure that you begin to have that covenant. You have that covenant between you and the devil. So you need to cast out that spirit of animals in your life in Jesus' name. Number 11. If you are seeing black rain, if you are seeing black rain falling on you, black rain, black rainfall falling on you, know that the enemy wants to destroy you. That is the rain of affliction. That is the rain of trouble. That is the rain of setback, sickness. So if you are seeing something like that in the dream, you need to go for deliverance. You see, it's an arrow of destruction. They want to kill you. It's a sign that someone is planning evil, planning evil against you. Someone is planning to, you know, 
to scatter your plans. So if you are seeing evil rain, you need to go and pray. And once that thing happens, there's no way that person can survive from that problem. So you need to go and pray that God, any evil rain falling upon me in the dream, let that rain dry up in Jesus' name. Number 12 distorted dream is if you are seeing yourself inside the coffin in the dream, you are always seeing yourself inside the coffin in the dream. Know that the enemy want to kill you. If you are seeing yourself inside the coffin, know that the enemy want to waste you. So you need to pray that God, any power that is planning for my downfall, any power that is planning my death, they shall die in my place in Jesus' name. Because if you are seeing yourself in the coffin, that means that uh, you will have no, you will have no strength, you have no power to, you know, you have no power to fulfill that destiny. And I pray that whoever that wants you to die, or whoever that has killed your destiny in the coffin, I pray, not that the enemy wants to destroy your life. You have to stand upon the word of God in the book of Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 to 26. Whoever that wants to eat your, whoever that wants to drink your blood, eat your flesh, they shall be fed with their own blood and with their own flesh in Jesus' name. So number 13, distorted dreams, is if you have been defeated in the dream, you have been defeated, you are actually in a fight with somebody, conflict, confrontation with someone in a dream, but you have been defeated. It, you know, it shows that the enemy will defeat you. You will be attacked. If you have been defeated in a dream, it means that you will lose that battle. If you have been defeated in a dream, it means that you have no strength to overcome that challenge. So if that is your portion, you need to stand upon the word of God in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 12, and James chapter 4, verse 7, and resist it. Ask God to arise and fight your battles on your behalf in Jesus' name. Number 14. If you are seeing yourself as a mad person in the dream, if you are seeing yourself as a mad person in the dream, this are the dream you should not ignore. It's a distorted dream. In the realm of the spirit, it means that you are coarse. In the realm of the spirit, it means that you are poor. In the realm of the spirit, it means that the arrow, the enemy is, is working against your destiny. Because that mad spirit, that madness is a spirit. It's a demonic spirit that is controlling your life. All of a sudden, you just somebody, you, you are just only something, you just be hungry. You'll be hungry. You'll be hungry, be bitter. It's a spirit of madness. Somebody will tell you something, you will not follow with that instruction. It's a spirit of madness. So if you are seeing yourself being mad in a dream, it's a very bad spirit that is about to torment your life. You need to pray. Go for deliverance. Say, God, any spirit of divination that is working against my destiny, let that spirit out, come out. Let that spirit come out. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 15. When you are being eaten by road accident, you are being hated by road accident. Road accident, you were actually involved in a road accident. Know that the enemy wants to destroy your life. If you are actually planning to travel, it's a signal that the enemy is planning evil ahead of you. It could be a road accident, it could be a major disaster or tragedy. So if you are being eaten in a road accident, involved in a road accident, Know that the enemy is planning evil against you. They are trying to abort your plans. They are trying to frustrate you, truncate your destiny. So if you have been involved in a road accident, you are involved yourself in a road accident, know that the enemy does not want you to live beyond that particular level. So you are actually going for a place to fulfill your destiny. The road accident came, automatically you will find it very difficult to fulfill your destiny. I pray for you today. Every power that wants to kill you through road accident, that power shall die in your place and the Lord will protect you from danger in Jesus' name. Number 16, distorted dreams. When you are seeing worms on your body in the dream, you are seeing worms on your body. That's the spirit of devourer. They are actually eating, killing you gradually. Worms, they suck. They suck blood. Worms, they suck human body. So if you are seeing worms on your body, that's the spirit of death. The spirit of sickness cast out that warmth that spiritual warmth in your body that does not want you to grow that does not want you to enlarge as a christian praise the living jesus number 17 destroy dream when you saw your entrance door wide open in the dream your entrance door wide open you are always seeing that your entrance door is always wide open wide open wide open 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 no that is a bad sign it shows that there's a particular place in your life which had been hopeful for the enemy to gain access into your life. 
when your door is open in the realm of the spirit, it's a signal for you to go and close that door. Because if you don't close that door, different kind of spirits will enter into your life through that door. Through that door to come and you know devour you, to come and kill you, God forbid, to come and frustrate you, to come and put embargo on your life. So if you are seeing that kind of thing, the signal for you to go and close that door. There's a particular thing, place in your life that has been opened. So different kind of people are coming to attack you, to betray you, you know, to set you up, you know, to tempt you. You need to pray, God, anywhere the enemy has been gaining access into my life and destiny, access into my children's destiny. Father, close that channel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 18, distorted dream. When you are being sur surrounded by animals or evil spirits. In the dream, when you are being surrounded by animals and evil spirits in the dream, know that the enemy has actually, you know, gathered against you. They have gathered, they are trying to conspire against you. They have placed an embargo upon your life that you, as a person or as a Christian, you will never move beyond this level. This is how, this is how you will remain for the rest of your life. That is what they are planning. But they will never succeed in that plan. In the name of Jesus. If it is animal or people that are, surround, that are surrounding you in the dream, I pray that evil group shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Shall scatter in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they shall surely gather. For as many that gather against you shall scatter. I pray whoever, whether evil spirit or animal, gathering or surrounding you in the dream, that circle will scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Number 19, distorted dream. When you are having sex with mammy spirit, when you are having sex with mammy spirit, know that you are in a covenant with the spirit spouse. You are in a spiritual covenant with the mammy spirit. So once this is not happening, these powers will be controlling your life. They'll be manipulating you. They'll be destroying you gradually. If you fail to meet them or have sex with them, they will make sure they kill you or they put an affliction in your body. So once you are having that kind of dream, go for deliverance. Break any connection any covenant between you and the marine spirit so that you can be free and fulfill your destiny in number 20 destructive dream when somebody touch your body with ring in the dream somebody touch your body with ring ring in the dream know that somebody wants somebody is extracting your star extracting your glory and destiny so once you are having that kind of dream know that somebody is taking something from you it could be your close friend pray that the Lord should reveal that person that is taking away your virtues in Jesus' name. So if you have been having this dream, the instruction, embark on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, every dream projected to kill me be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire, be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Say, any evil dream of hearing bad news in the waking life be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Any evil dreams of hearing bad news in the waking life, be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Be cancelled in Jesus' name. Take this prayer point. Say every negative dream programmed to put me in bondage, catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. Every negative dream programmed to put me in bondage, catch fire and die in Jesus' name. Take this last prayer point. Say every arrow of setback, shame and stagnation fire against me, backfire, backfire, backfire. Backfire, backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am very sure that you are blessed by this broadcast. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.